Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another Leagues video. In the last video, we ended up doing a lot of PvE and got a lot of drops. And then we finished the episode off with a 99 construction. In this episode, I want to finish a few construction tasks, but also kit out my house to the point where I can really effectively use it, so we can then continue to PvE and get the full beast gear for our Leagues account. That being said, I do hope you guys will enjoy today's video. Let's get right into it. Alright, so I decided to do a couple more contracts and that is 200 mahogany home contracts completed. From now on, all the construction training will be done in my house. So this was the last of mahogany homes I was going to do. And I've stacked up all of the rewards. We got almost 3000 and I've unlocked full carpet tender. I've unlocked the plank sack, Hosidia's blueprints and Amy's saw. So everything else will just go on the crates. Alright, so we're going to be getting planks and all sorts of things. I guess there would be a nice way. I mean, I didn't have many mahogany planks left. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to spend all of these points on these. And this is going to help us in construction training later on. I will definitely go for 50 million construction XP. Simply because, well, it makes sense. So we just buy all of these and use our banker's note. Wait, I don't even need to use our banker's note, but you get what I mean. We're getting some... Wait, we got quite a lot of steel bars. I was on zero steel bars, by the way. Okay, and there we go. All the points spent, 700 steel bars, a bunch of mahogany planks, a lot of oak planks, a couple of teak planks, and way too much soft clay. We will never use this much. Maybe we'll make some teleport tabs or something. Now we have zero rewards left and we have completely finished this minigame. I did originally plan to make stuff in the house that will give me points, but most of the things are just straight up gold sinks. So once I have like 200 million willing to spend, I'm just gonna build everything in the house. For now, I'm just gonna get the important utilities. Apparently building an achievement gallery was actually a task, but that's the first thing I wanna do. I also wanted to check if there is a way for me to make this. I know I cannot make the dark altar. I think I could easily make lunar altar and... If I get a Pharaoh Scepter, I could make an Ancient Altar as well. The Ancient one would be the important one that I would like to have in my house. So maybe I'm going to do some thieving first and try to hunt for the Pharaoh Scepter. That is a basic jewelry box, one of the most important things I'd say. I wonder if this works. Yeah, I've just charged all of these. I can go home and I can keep upgrading. I'm trying to just get the most logical upgrades up because uh, it is quite expensive and I don't have that much money at the moment. All right, we need to spend quite a bit of money on these gold leaves here. We're just going to buy three of them for now. That is upgraded into a fancy jewelry box. I think I did all of that only to realize that I can't actually do the next step of it because I don't think I have a way to charge up these rings of wealth. That's a problem. I don't think I can charge them here. I think that I can only charge them in Wilderness. I need to get more on top of my Alg game, especially since I, as I said earlier, will need 200 million in total. But for now, let's just purchase eight of the marble blocks and we're gonna do it one at a time because otherwise they get expensive. So that's four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're once again broke. Uh, but I can go to the house right now and build the next thing. Now, I'm very sad about the fact that I can't fully upgrade the jewelry box. I was looking forward to not needing an extra room just for the glory. Uh, but I guess there's nothing I can do about it. So one thing we can do, however, is we can build the marble portal nexus. Start off with this one and we can upgrade it and build it into a gilded portal nexus. Uh, so that's going to be 200 points, that's huge, but I can also build it into a crystalline portal nexus, but two magic stones, that's two million, and yeah, once I have two million coins, I can consider making the next one. If you don't know what this does, you can set a bunch of teleports into this thing. One of the next things that's going to be super beneficial for our account is to create a gilded altar. Now you may be wondering why that is the case. Our prayer is already 99, but I plan on getting to 50 prayer simply by burying bones. And the best method for that is just going to be to use this altar in my house with a banker's note. And I also need to build this space, uh, but I don't know which ones work. After doing a little bit of research, it doesn't matter whether you make an incense burner, mahogany burner or marble burner. So I guess we're just going to go with the mahogany burner instead. And then we have a fully fledged prayer method basically completed on our account. And this is going to be one of the last things I plan on building for now. Now, if I want to upgrade this, I need stamina potions. I don't have them yet. My chapel is fully completed. If I want to build the altar space, I'm going to need to train a little bit of thieving first. 
I have the best jewelry box possible and I will be slowly adding teleports to the portal nexus as I go along and I will also upgrade this to the crystalline nexus the next time I have 3 million to spend so that's why I'm also alking my onyx bolts and that's basically what we're gonna do I have the exact plan of what I'm gonna do next and it's going to consist of us doing a little bit of squirking so, most people think you can only do squirking on a fully populated world, but one click squirk has actually been a thing in the game for as long as I can remember, really. However, now it's a lot easier because you have plugins that literally tell you exactly when to click. So if you see here on the bottom right, I have 25 seconds. When that thing goes to zero is when you need to click and you start right after entering the gate. So I think the plugin is called one click squirk and really look, eight, seven, six, five, four. As soon as that thing will hit zero, we click it. As long as all of these are in order, so all of these need to be on zero, you will just move your way through. I would recommend you to hop worlds and not do it whenever there's somebody else doing it. However, it seems like this guy is using the exactly same plugin. So we're just gonna run laps with this dude at the same time and hope he doesn't make a mistake. Because if he does make a mistake, then we need to like set them back up by failing a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, we can do this and we can alk and I need 100 of these for a lot of XP. A lot of picking up squirks later and we have ourselves 50 summer squirk juice. Now this should be a lot of experience in thieving and also an elite task. So we are starting on 74. I think I can just use this on him. 1.2 million thieving XP by the way and that was just half so we're up to 81. And when we cash in the next 25 this is going to be very good boost for our thieving XP So that's gonna be sorted and I can then look to try and train thieving just through pyramid plunder most likely I should realistically look into all the thieving tasks that I can do But let's quickly finish this 1.2 million again We got up to 85 thieving and there is also a 200 pointer task I'm gonna see if there's any easy tasks I can do if not 91 thieving should be our next goal but remember how I wanted to get the Pharaoh Scepter? Maybe I just go grind that out now. Alright, and we are at the thieving grind. I do need to do 91 thieving so I can do the last room. But there is a quick little task completion. And whilst I'm here, I think I'll just do the entirety of the room 7. Just so I get to 91 thieving faster. I think it's worth it. I mean, 10,000 XP. Obviously, I'm not a thiever relic. So this might take a little bit of time. But there's tasks with this. And I think it's worth my time. Hey, there it is. 91 thieving. Lots of skilling today, but this is gonna be helpful. I need to loot the grand chest on the final room 25 times. So I'm just gonna be speedrunning that for now. Still hoping for the scepter. And then after we get to that, I'll worry about uh, experience later on. And you know what? Since I do need 99 thieving anyways, I will also be looting the entirety of the last room. It should be very good XP, 13.2k. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we need to do this 25 times. Oh my god, finally. Pharaoh Scepter, we got it. There is no way. We are almost 98 thieving. So this was quite a process, but we got it. Maybe took a whole day, but we got it. Let's see if we can figure out the whole situation and to how to put this in the bank. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Hey, that's the 80 pointer right there. And I think I can now throw this into my house. I really went on a detour with this one, but I do believe I now have everything I want to create an ancient altar. And I do really hope that I can then also make a lunar altar on top of that. For that, I will need another magic stone, which is 1 million, which I don't have right now. But everything else should be somewhat easy to get. 10,000 astrals, maybe a little bit annoying to get. But let's see, ancient altar is now built. Can I venerate it? There we go. We're now on ancients. We're now on standard, it's that simple. This is gonna help us a lot with all sorts of different content, especially since we can enter our house immediately. Okay, there we go, the very first Sire KC. And we're gonna be doing exactly 300 of this. And I guess I'll also be getting some combat achievements in the process. So without maturing, should just happen naturally, 50 times, easy. I'll need Vengeance spell for one. And basically not taking any damage. Okay, should be simple enough. Let's go. Perfect sire. I thought I took damage, but I guess I didn't. So that's that out of the way. And then we just need one kill where we're basically just really fast. I think that one will just naturally happen. Ooh, starting it off with an unsire. That's really good. So it is five times multiplied, five times the drop rate, but they still should be one in, what, one in 20? 
I think something like that. I would honestly be excited even about a jar. Even something as simple as a jar could be pretty decent uh, because we can put it in the house and it's points, I think. Uh, but I guess bludgeon pieces we're going to be happy with. Abyssal dagger. I don't really know if there's any points with this. Ooh, started off with an abyssal dagger. All right. Is this a point? Hey, we'll take this. This is good. The fact that we get points for this is uh, is pretty solid. I just wonder how many points it actually is. Let's take a look. Hey, I mean, 200 points. We absolutely take those. Nice. So I brought some chins for this skill. See if they will help. Probably not the best move, but it kind of worked, I think. That should have worked. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I was a bit rusty, but we got the grow up too fast. So no longer need any more chins. This is now sorted. I would need one kill with Venge, but I don't really have that option yet. I could do it though. I would just need one million coins. So I'm going to leave that one till like another time. And we're just going to go for the kill count tasks right now. Oh, second and sired. Let me just make sure these ones are popping nicely because uh, this is pretty exciting. So we're aiding KC in already with the second and sired. I wouldn't mind the bludgeon. I wouldn't mind the pet. I wouldn't mind the jar. I would not like the whip. I would not like the abyssal demon head. So let's take a look and see what we get. Ah, the worst. We got a whip. I already got like seven of those. That is abyssal adept completed. Oh, 95 Slayer of a respiratory system. All right, so I got myself on a Vengeance, and I didn't actually know this, but you can just hit Sire for 75 damage, put him to sleep. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I don't really know. Okay, so he's sleeping now, and now I can kill the respiratory systems. I want to see if he's then lower HP when he comes down as well, because this could legit be decent then. Okay, so now I need to get him down again, because I can't damage this no longer. Yeah, no, he's always full HP, I see. Okay, so now he's sleeping. Okay, so it just makes the kill a little bit more annoying and a little bit more slow. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this combat achievement out of the way. Okay, so this is where I should complete the task. So I'll wait till I get teleported. So we'll hit him. We'll hit him again. We'll hit him again. And now here I'm going to avenge and just not move. There we go. And that's it. Do we get rewarded? We do not get rewarded, but this is basically completed now. I guess I go back to Ancients now, and I just do this normally from here on out. But that was pretty chill. That was nice. Ooh, content. We got another Insired, KC36. Let's take a look if we can uh, find the bludgeon piece from this. And we get another dagger. Oi, oi, oi. How much do these alk for? 69k. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just a trophy item at this point then. That's unlucky. Uh, I think I'll actually just stack a couple of Unsireds. I don't think I'll open each one at a time. This run back is a little bit annoying. And there it is. So those are all combat achievements completed for the Sire. And it's dropping quite a lot of Alkables, actually. I think I can make decent money from this boss. Uh, but there it is, 200 points for completing every possible achievement. And as I said earlier, we will be doing exactly 300 of this boss because that is all the points you can get from here. And in the process, obviously, we will be hoping to see a full bludgeon. And we already got the Abyssal Dagger. Everything else is pretty much completed. If we get a jar in the process as well, that would be great. If not, that's completely fine. There's another one. We got Unsired. Should I stack it a bit? Oh, I'm gonna stack until I have like one more, I guess. Okay, that's uh, number two. And uh, well, since I need to bank because my inventory is completely full, let's uh, open these two Unsired and see if we pull some bludgeon pieces. Let's take a look. Unsired number, what is it? Five, four? I'm not sure. Ah, there it is, the bludgeon piece. Can we get one more? Oh, another dagger. Third dagger. Here's another unsired. I'm gonna try to get two more before we do the next opening. All right, here it is, the second unsired. Let's open them. Let's see what we get. All right, let's hope for back-to-back -back bludgeon pieces. Oof, abyssal head. That's like the worst. Hey, at least we got a second bludgeon piece. Okay, just one more. Let's do it. I decided to quickly AFK myself 99 woodcutting. I don't know what else to do. I'm just trying to get to 153 kudos to complete some of the diaries. It is early in the morning and we got about 5 lamps. So let's go ahead and start using them. Firstly, 
I will be using summon farming. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. Simply because I have a bunch of magic trees. I need to be level 75 in order to plant those and they are gonna be my main source of XP. And outside of that, I think all I really wanna do is put everything in Herblor. I mean, mining should be pretty easy for me to train because of my double relic and everything else should be pretty chill, so... It's either Herblor or Agility for me. And I think I'll just pick Herb for now. So that's 70 Herblor, that's pretty good. And that is now 71 Herb. I think I have a couple more fossils I can do. Okay, we got a few more lamps. All of it will go on Herb. Up to 72. And let's make it up to 73. And we also have all the kudos necessary in order for us to finish the diaries. This did not take too long at all. We can quickly combine everything together. I guess I need to not be in the fight, so let me get out of here. Yeah, just still working on the Varrock Hard Diaries right now. It seems very easy to complete, so I can combine this, combine that, combine this, invoke. There we go, that's the task. Okay, and with that, we've now completed the Hard Varrock Diary as well. Let me see if I can complete the Elite as well. This should be easy. Summer pie, I have the cooking level and I do not have the herblor adjust yet. So I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. We're just gonna move on to something else. But first, we're gonna claim this XP. Okay, we're quickly speaking to Toby. He should give me an XP lamp and better Varak armor, which is pretty good. And we're gonna put this again in herblor and let's see how many levels we get. 240,000 XP. We're now level 75. That's pretty useful. It is still very early in the day and I want to do a little bit of skilling. I'm gonna start on 64 mining and see how far we can go. I am aiming to reach at least level 72 right now. Here is a total level, 2100, that was 200 points. And I realized I don't really often show points in my videos. We're on 35k without really focusing on points at all. Today has been like the first day in a while where I've kind of been doing some point tasks. However, in the near future, I'll probably have an episode dedicated purely to grinding all of the points that I can because there's so many easy points that I could grind that I could get to dragon rank probably very, very quickly. However, for now, I got three more mining levels to go and then I do think I'll be awake enough to do some PVM. All right, so the reason I got 72 mining, we're now 73, was to get all of these resources what i didn't realize is how long this takes but i felt you know what i was already pretty committed so let's see if i can figure how this thing works so i believe there should be a waste teleport here Ah, there we go. So now we have the waste teleport. I can just drag it like this. I can click I think save and close. Confirm it. And I can now teleport to menu and teleport to waste. And that's a task. And it's only 80 points and it took very long time actually. But we have it done. I really should go into do some PVMing right now. But I don't know. Today has been just kind of a chill day for me. I've just been, I don't know man, relaxing a little bit. Uh, but I'm gonna go finish my sire task, see if we can get any more unsired. Ooh, there we go, we got another unsired. I do have 27 left, so I think I'm just gonna commit to finishing the task, and then we're gonna open whatever many we have. Alright, the full task of Abyssal Sire completed. We ended up pulling 8 unsired from 140 KC. I think with the rate of 1 in 20, we were just a little bit lucky. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a look if we can get another bludgeon piece from this unsired, that, that would be huge. But regardless, we are gonna be coming back for 160 more kills in the future to get all of the points that the sire gives. Ah, another dagger, that's unlucky, but at least we ended up getting mahogany seeds, which is also tasks. I will probably plan those as soon as my farming level is high enough, uh, but for now I think it is fitting time to check what my next slayer task would be, because, uh, well, we did get to 96 slayer in the process, but I'm also kind of in the mood to do maybe some solo necks. We'll give it a shot, let's take a look what task we get first though. Now, we did get a blue dragon task, and I do have to kill a lot of Vorkath. If we were to take a look at the tasks, I will need to kill it 150, 300 times. So, I'm definitely just going to do that at some point in the future. So, I guess it is time to do a little bit of solo next and see if we can uh, perhaps get lucky. I still would love to get a Zarite crossbow. Okay, let's take a look. This took exactly 8 minutes to get this skill, if I manage to finish it. Maybe it's more beneficial for me to do duos, but that was not hard at all. Didn't take too many supplies. And we get, look at these rewards, bro. 90 runite ore, 11,000 water rune. 
Dude, this is gonna be fun to see these loots, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I'll just do some solos right now, see how it goes. Maybe I'll turn the stream on. If we end up doing a lot of necks, I'll start doing predictions for... Uh, yeah, if we get a drop or not, because I'm pretty sure in solos it's like 1 in 10, right? It might not be 1 in 10, it might be like rarer, but... Alright, here we go, here we go. Another solo necks. Let's see if we get a little drop situation right now. Uh, oof. 99 rubies and 1100 water rune. Third solo of the day. I, I don't know how many solos I want to do today. Maybe like 10. 10 if one is like almost 10 minutes. Or maybe like 6. We do it for like an hour. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Another solo. What is this? It's horrible, man. I mean, we got supplies, but like we really don't need them. Why do I get a 1600 cannonballs, man? Ooh, no. Just a lot of supplies again. 120 KC already. So this is taking me 7 minutes. This skill was... Quite fast, actually. Good luck me, another solo. For some blood runes and water runes. Nextling, what? Dude, no, 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 no. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way I got the next pet as well. What in the fuck? Let me get out of here. What? That is so cool. There's no way. That's not boosted in leagues. That's my second pet of the leagues, bro. That is crazy. Dude, I got two mechans. I got necks. Oh, yeah. look, it's beautiful. Look at him. There's no way. Like, there is actually no way. I just pulled that. What is going on? What other pets would I even go for, man? We got two bucket, we got decks. Maybe we go farm some DKs as well. That's crazy, honestly. Like, I, I can't believe it. Ooh, no, just prayer potions, cannonballs, both useless drops. And we get more rubies, not ideal. Ooh, that's a good drop. It's not what we would want, but it's a good drop. 90 shards, because it's a solo. And I do think this now puts us over the line to what we actually need in order to make a Zarite crossbow once we get it as a drop. I'm gonna go to the bank and quickly check. I'm pretty sure 250 is what you need. So I guess it is okay time for us to take a little solo break here. It's a good drop. We end it on a good drop. We came here, we pulled the pet, we pulled the shards, which is perfect, honestly, because I could even go back to duos right now and I don't need to rely on getting like two more drops of these. So let's see. We now have over 250, which I believe is everything you need for the crossbow so that's sick all right so now that we got the shard drops we got the pet drop it is time for me to do a couple of clue scrolls and call it an episode in the meantime i also need to get 85 fire making for some easy points that we got from cerberus so i'm also going to be doing clue scrolls and lighting up my fire logs as i'm running around the game so let's complete a few and see if we can get uh, some good drops. I'm just tanking up on the clue scrolls, been fire making the whole time and I now have 85 fire making. Now, if you guys remember why that is important, it is because of this. If I quickly go to the bank, we can now make an infernal X, which I think should be a task. There we go, 200, we'll take it and I will probably use this most of my time now. We did a couple of clue scrolls. Let's take a look at what we will get. We got 10 hard caskets. And I honestly don't really know what I'm even going for, but anything unique we will be happy with, anything non-unique we're gonna be happy with because we will just alk. Um, so there is Nunchaku, that's a new one. Still got nine more. There is a new Gothics page. This could actually complete the book. There's a pest control teleport, another unique. There is a thieving bag that's gonna be another unique there. Moving on to... Not again. Did I... That... I would have... Bro... That's the second noted potions I landed on, by the way. Second. So I could have had two third age pieces. Or at least, like, uh, come on, man. I want something cool. Ah, uh, that's unlucky. Bandle shield there. Another ancient bracers. Another gothic page. Is that the one? Ah, oh, damn it. It's a dupe. Um, we got a new pirate set. That's pretty solid. Probably black dragon mask. Maybe another unique. Never mind. Oh, yeah. It was. Nice. Dragon boots ornament kit. That's kind of cool, but we have Pagasians, so we can't really use this. Ancient page 4. We got 1, we got 2, and it's a new one. That's pretty solid. Alright, anyways, we got 2 more hard clues. This imp is not making it. Alright, let's take a look. Arma, Dehyde Boots, another Thieving Sack, and the last one for... Okay. Oh wait, we got one more. We got a bonus. We'll, we'll do the bonus as well. There's the last one. We got an Arma, Dehyde Body. Uh, nothing too crazy, but at least I'm gonna be able to alk a lot of this stuff for more money. So, 
pretty solid <laughs> like that we will be finishing today's episode as always i hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a video a simple like and maybe if you are new consider subscribing to the channel as well that being said i will be back with you most likely tomorrow with another upload i'll see you then be safe and bye bye